So yes, there is a big bump in the road. It's a beautiful bump and it is a baby. Um, but you mentioned some bumps in the road and there's gonna be a big bump. Emily's gonna be having a, a big bump this season or Nick's gonna be having a big bump this season because you guys are also expecting, right? <laughs> yes, the, the end of episode two, um, Nick is pregnant, which is uh, a, a beautiful thing for both of them, but also a little bit surprising too. Uh, you know, Conrad says in that scene, um, I, I didn't know we uh, pulled the goalie. So uh, a little bit of a uh, shock. And there's also that shock that we wanted to try and capture in terms of how much that your life is going to change um, and what's going to happen when this this beautiful new one comes into the world, but at the same time, that, that joyfulness. So yes, there is a big bump in the road. It's a beautiful bump and it is a baby. Mm -hmm. And um, so hopefully fans will be excited as well, or if they've already seen it, um, hopefully they enjoy that that reveal there right at the end of, of episode two. Definitely. I mean, will it be, like you said, you know, COVID is going to play a part at all the, at, during this season. I mean, is that going to play at all into the pregnancy? We live in a, in a post-COVID world starting at the end of episode one. Okay. Um, until it, in, in terms of the specifics of the pregnancy, no, it won't, at least in the first eight episodes that, that I've read. Um, but there will be other challenges involved with that for sure. I yeah. will say that. And if, um, you know, uh, if fans of the show have been watching the show from the beginning, um, you know, we flash back in episode three of season two where Nick had had a miscarriage. Mm -hmm. So anyone who, who has been through a miscarriage, uh, male or female or a couple who's gone through that, they know how um, that changes when you're pregnant once again and how that emotionally and mentally can affect you. So. Uh, that's a piece, one piece of the puzzle that they'll be experiencing. Definitely. I mean, what kind of dad do you think Conrad, Conrad is going to be? You know, I, I hope he's going to be someone who's attentive and he's going to be there. Uh, you know, he, he works really, really hard. So I hope he can find a way to, uh, to let go of his work and focus on his child a little bit. But uh, most importantly, I think this season, Conrad is a little bit more vulnerable than we've ever seen him. And that's because of being married. That's because he, he has a little one on the way. That's because of what he experienced with COVID. So I hope that um, he's he's vulnerable with his 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 um, child and that um, his heart is soft and uh, he shows that the child. I'm trying not to give away the sex of the baby. That's why <laughs> if you see, I'm like struggling You're thinking there. really hard. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm thinking so hard because I'm just catching myself because I don't want to give that away right. uh, as that's obviously a part of the reveal. So if you saw me struggling there, that's why. But Conrad's more vulnerable this season for several reasons. And I hope he shares that vulnerability with, with the new one. Definitely. Is Emily enjoying playing, be, playing a pregnant woman? Yeah, you know, I, she has to she has to wear this 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 belly, you know, this 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 fake belly thing. So uh, uh, that can be a bit challenging at, at times. But um, you know, she she's a trooper, and you know, I hope that when people see, for example, that that scene uh, at the end of episode two, that that people believe that this is a couple who is um, joyful and emotional and. Um, a little bit in shock as to what's next. And I hope that that is real and authentic. And that's what we're ultimately going for. Even though the, the belly is fake in plastic, um, we hope when people watch that uh, people really connect to that and say, oh, that, that's that's me, that happened to yeah. me, or, or that feels exactly like it was, or the difficulties that we talk about in terms of the potential a miscarriage that, that people who have been through that say, yeah, that that is what it's like. You know, as an actor, that's what we as actors, that's what we try to do is um, communicate those thoughts and emotions so that uh, people can have that experience and uh, release through these through the storytelling that we're trying to tell. Even though it's a fake, fake belly, fake bump, you know, we, we, we hope we're making it look real. Definitely. What kind of mom do you think Emily would be like in real life? I think she'd be a great mom. <laughs> yeah, you just hit it. Mm -hmm. She'd be a great, great mom. And um, hopefully, I, I hope that that happens for her. And she's a deeply special person and she would be an absolutely stellar mom. So yeah. I hope I hope that that happens for her in, in real life. Um, 
but first she's going to test things out on the show. You know? Test um, the waters. <laughs> yes. Yeah, see how it feels, you know, right. see how it feels and, and go from there. So we're, we're, we're helping her out here with the resident. Yeah. Um, by, by giving her a little test run. <laughs> totally. Does it make their marriage stronger or does it, you know, like you said, you know, you, when Conrad first finds out, he's in a bit of a state of shock. So does this kind of change their marriage at all? I think anytime you, you, all my friends, I personally have not been married. I personally don't have children, but anybody who's been married and has children knows that it drastically changes your life. You have to adjust your priorities. You have to reconfigure your work schedule. You have to um, connect with your partner in a different way. You have to connect with your child in a certain way. And it's, it's difficult. You know, it's um, anybody who, who will tell you the truth about it. It is amazing, absolutely incredible. And it is, there's no kind of joy and love that you can get from the love of a child. But at the same time, it's not easy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no. it's incredibly, <laughs> incredibly difficult. So I hope, I hope we capture both sides of that, you know, yeah. because uh, it's tough on couples. It's, it's tough on children. And at the same time, I, I hope that we capture all those sides because that way um, the audience can connect to it in a more authentic way.